Another day, another standard banner. Now, this one is incredibly tempting. They are really trying to push you to pull ahead of the summer event. So this one is really one to look out for. My general rule with standard banners is you don't pull unless you want both of the six stars and you're okay with getting either. Quite often, they will do one great and one rather weak. And so usually my recommendation is to skip. However, this time they have really gone quite strong. In store, we have Kyobi uh, as the gold certificate store. This is the first time she's appeared. The next gold certificate appearance will be Bagpipe. If you are considering getting Kyobi, uh, do consider that Bagpipe is coming up as well. Bagpipe will likely be in the store around the same time as the summer event. So first, we'll start with Kyobi. So she is a single target caster and is really good at dealing with high defense enemies. So her specialty is being able to actually focus the unit that she really needs to kill. Whereas other casters can get distracted by other enemies that have come first. And when you, what you really want is you want them to be taking care of the big tough enemies while say your AOE guard at the front takes care of the weaker enemies. Uh, and this is thanks to her second skill, uh, Really Hot Knives. It prioritizes attacking the highest defense enemy and it also increases her attack speed. And as you can see in the video, the attack speed gets really, really fast. So she's excellent at shredding through those high defense enemies. And on top of that, there's her passive, where each attack deals additional arts damage equal to 40% of the target's defense. So the higher the enemy's defense, especially if they don't have any resistance to accompany that, the faster and the harder she will shred them. So she is the ultimate tank killer. Her other passive, Lone Journey, increases her attack and attack speed if she's slightly isolated. The other thing that's good about her across her three skills, and this is something that makes her very good for a new account, is the flexibility that she offers. Uh, so her first skill, you will very rarely use this, but it might just happen on a level where because you've got a limited roster, uh, you might just need someone who can bind an enemy for a little bit, just a little bit of slow, which is situationally useful. However, her third skill, really heavy spear, which you will be seeing in action on screen, it flips her priority compared to really hot knives. So instead with this one, it increases her attack range, still gives a, uh, an attack boost. She now deals physical damage, but she'll prioritize the lowest defense enemies and she silences targets. It's not as good as Really Hot Knives because, because of the attack priority. So the, the attack priority on Really Hot Knives targeting high defense enemies is what you bring and what you recruit here before. Generally, the low defense enemies will die to your frontline melee operators. There is a couple of scenarios where this is really good. Dealing with those leakers, those enemies that, will, that are quite squishy, but they just run right through your line, she will focus fire those because uh, usually they have the lowest defense of all enemies. So do I recommend getting Kirby? Uh, if you've got the 180 gold certificates, absolutely, that you can afford. And keep in mind, Bagpipe is on the way. Now, putting your resources, putting your actual Arundum into this, well, that's a different story. We'll get to that at the end. Before we get onto the other six star, the star of the show, quick talk of the five stars. Because while I said this is an excellent banner and I always recommend if you'd like both of the six stars. Unfortunately, this is one of the cases where the five stars are a real letdown. Uh, typically, they'll have one or two good, like great five stars. They'll have nice consolation prizes along the way for the six star. But in this case, it's just not very good. Zima is a Vanguard supporter that supports other Vanguards. She's all right. The problem is she's up against some very, very tough competition. Uh, the Vanguard roster is already extre extremely stacked particularly because you're likely to have Myrtle, who's very easy to get, and you've got your free Texas, who is better than Zima in pretty much every way. So Zima, unfortunately, despite being a... She's actually a good unit. If you do use her, she's completely fine. It's just there's, there's better. Provence is pretty cool. Um, she's actually the best of the, the three five stars over here. You know, typical close range sniper. Uh, Mr. Nothing is an unfortunate victim of being outclassed by a lower rarity operator. Jay is basically a better Mr. Nothing, or slightly, in some situations, sort of equal, but because Jay's a four star and they're much cheaper to, to build, raise, get potentials for, uh, 
Mr. Nothing is unfortunately left to the side. All right, on to the start of the show. Serta, the reason why everybody's here. Uh, now, what needs to be said about Serta? Uh, she was the first operator that I pulled for in this game back when she was on a banner with Ifrit. Again, that rule of two, two six stars that I wanted. I was like, oh, I definitely want both of those. Obviously, in that case, it goes without saying, I definitely recommend Serta. She is the strongest unit in the game. She's still stronger than Summer Chen, although to go into detail for that, it's uh, that's a, for a future video. So if you don't have Serta, you should definitely look to adding her to a roster. However, the one thing about Serta, because she's so good and because so many people like using her, she's also the easiest unit to get as a support operator from your friends list. So if you are looking to save, you can definitely afford to wait a bit longer after you have locked in your limited operator pulls. Serta's next appearance is in about five months on a joint operations banner. And the thing is, this joint operations banner is excellent. So if you want her, but don't want to commit too much to, to her right now, and you're willing to wait a little bit, her next appearance is with the same appearance rate as you'll get here. Her next banner is a joint operations. It's Serta, Saga, Schwartz, and Phantom. That's an excellent lineup of uh, four operators. And that joint operations banner appears just after the near light limited banner with uh, Nil the Radiant Knight. If you are looking to save for those two, then you can wait a little bit longer and, and uh, see what you get there. Uh, and her solo banner is unlikely to ever come back for her because it wasn't tied to a, a uh, proper story event. You're never really going to get a better chance than 25% unless they invent a new type of banner uh, in the future. So onto her skills. Now, most people will be aware about how strong Serta is, but in case you're new, I will go into some detail about what makes her so strong. So at her core, she is a single target arts guard. The archetype is generally not that great at holding the front line because they're usually fairly squishy and they only have one block. However, Serta is a slight exception to that because she's extremely hard to kill and she kills so fast that one block really doesn't matter. So her first skill is a basic charge on attack and then it does a big burst. If it kills the enemy, then she gets the cost back. Generally not gonna use that once you've leveled her up because Molten Giant, the skill two, which you'll see on screen, is just a better lane holding skill because it increases her attack range and it hits two targets at once. So it turns her into a temporary AOE arts guard. So she defies her archetype uh, already with her second skill. It's a really good skill to bring along when you need that consistent arts damage and you don't want to sacrifice her with her third skill. So her third skill, um, what you're seeing here are the rank seven versions. If you upgrade this to M3, it becomes a five second recharge. What that means is that when you drop her within five seconds, you can activate it and she will annihilate whatever it is you're going up against. The attack boost uh, at M3 goes up to 300%, increases her attack range, increases the amount of targets hit, and it increases her HP to 5,000. And when her HP is at 5,000, that makes it very hard to kill. And as if she wasn't hard enough to kill already, there's her passive, which is whenever she would die, instead of dying, she survives at one HP for a few seconds and then dies. And those few seconds is enough for her skill to just kill whatever is hitting her. So you can see on the video, the golem is about to, to bonk her. It does. Normally, she'd get one shot, but because of that passive, she survives and finishes it off. It's a very common way to use Serta. Uh, and on top of that, she does even more damage because her other passive ignores enemy resistance. See, she is incredibly deadly because of this Twilight skill. It means that no matter the strength of the enemy, you can just drop her in and she will wipe out that enemy. There, there's a reason why uh, there's a saying, when in doubt, just use Serta. She really is that powerful. And what makes her particularly strong, compa even compared to the other uh, killer units like Aya, Silver Ash, and upcoming Summer Chen, is that she has the ability to very quickly delete the enemy while also guaranteeing that she's going to do that damage. Other operators either take a little bit too long to charge for that ver very quick kill, or they don't do the damage as fast. Like, for example, Summer Chen, her attack is quite slow comparatively, but also they die fairly quickly. 
uh, Serta can hold the line, survive, and kill the enemy. And it's AoE as well. She's just incredibly useful to have. But as I said, she's very common in the support line. So if you don't have her right now, and you want to wait and you want to secure those limited operators first, then feel free to wait until the joint operations. Uh, what are weaknesses? Because every operator has their weaknesses. And this is where the others have strengths compared to her. The main thing that she has a weakness for is she cannot hit aerial units. Flyers will just go right past. <clears throat> She'll just yell angrily at any drones going overhead. Her other weakness is her redeployment time. You could say the same of, of Silverash, because Silverash is quite often just used as you drop him in, use his skill, and then you retreat him. However, with Serta, you, you are forced to do that, because Twilight, unless you pack a whole ton of healers next to her, Twilight will kill her, because the damage she takes ramps up over time. Whereas with someone like AR or Chen, you don't airdrop them in, do the damage, and then retreat them. They stick around and do a significant amount of damage as well, in between the big skill uses. Serta's only two real weaknesses are that she can't hit aerial units and she has a fair redeployment time. Those weaknesses are nothing in compared to her strengths. She is incredibly powerful. In conclusion, should you pull on this banner? Well, in isolation, yes. If you don't have either of these two, it's an excellent banner to pull on. And Serta is the strongest unit in the game. So yes, you should pull on this banner. However, stop. You need to be aware of what's coming up. And we're inching closer and closer to the summer event, which is going to have the limited operator Chen. And if you are someone who really likes to get those limited operators and really wants to secure them, it's a risk not to have either 300 pulls or a lot of pulls to throw in. 300 just to be sure, so you can get them from the guarantee. With limited operators, at least so far, if you miss out on them on their release, they're much harder to get in future because they only have a roughly four, four and a half percent chance when they rerun on a future limited operator banner. Whereas someone like Serta and Kyobi, because they're standard operators, they'll always come back in future. And we know for sure that Serta will be in about five months. This is a super, super tempting banner. Yostar knows what it's doing with this banner. It wants you to spend those resources so that when the summer event comes out with some of those juicy packs in the store to buy with your hard earned money, they want you to go for those to make up for the pulls that you spent on this banner. They know what they're doing and they're doing it well because this is super tempting. So yes, my recommendation is yes to pull, if you have resources to spare or if you're willing to risk it for the summer event or if you actually don't care about getting summer chen and you don't have both of these operators it is absolutely worth pulling serta is incredibly strong if you want to wait for the joint operations banner then do so otherwise i wish you luck with your pulls hopefully it only takes one pull to get serta and then you're in the clear for the summer event all right Good luck, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.